Hey guys, I'm Garrett Williams with GM Outdoor Services, Sales and Operations Manager. Today's video, we're going to talk about snow removal, even though it is sunny and hot today. Snow is right around the corner. We're always thinking ahead, we're always getting ready way ahead. A lot goes into our snow plow route. Last year, we had about 30 um, individuals working for us in snow removal. We have at least that this year. We plow everything from residential driveways, HOAs, townhomes, uh, commercial buildings, just daycares, old folks' places. I mean, pretty much everything out there we do. We have we service, we're located right here at our shop in Becker, Minnesota. We service about a 25, 30 mile radius. Last year we had around 100 residentials and then about 25 to 30 other commercials and, uh, and HOAs, townhomes, things like that. So the equipment that we use, we use uh, of course skid loaders, wheels and track skid loaders. Track skid loaders are nice if you got to push snow back a ways off of the driveway or parking lot. They float really well so they don't sink in and make ruts in the grass. But wheel machines, you know, the smaller wheelbase, they can tend to leave more ruts. So we have certain sites we use track skid loaders, other sites we use wheel loaders. This year we'll have a front end loader, payloader, we do some bigger commercial lots, we're good for that. We also have an S70 with a small four foot wide snow blower. Um, it's all ran by hydraulics, you can get a power chute and up and down, you can put the snow wherever you want it. We do several miles of sidewalks. So for our, for our commercial accounts and some of our uh, townhome associations that we plow, we have long sidewalks throughout the whole, you know, um, the whole neighborhood. So we do around four miles of sidewalks. That works really well for that. And then we also do, you know, we have a lot of guys that just shovel. So we get a really detailed job. All our residentials, we, you know, shovel out in front of the garage, shovel the front step over the door. Our commercial buildings, you know, we get right to the door. You know, we don't just get as close as we can with the machine and call it good. We do a really detailed job of getting all the snow. You know, not just coming and getting 80% of the snow. We get 100%. And then we also do a lot of uh, a fair amount of salting and sanding. And you know, if you have inclines going down to parking ramps or steep inclines going up to the roads, you know, whatever it may be, um, we do a lot of uh, you know snow or uh, ice, ice and uh, snow and ice uh, control. We do a fair amount of that as well. Um, and then yeah, so basically my role in snow removal is I don't plow, I do a plow my truck. I don't do a lot of it myself. I basically help get all the guys lined up make sure everyone's got the equipment and tools they need make sure everyone's got boots and gloves and you know everything everything the guys need and i'll kind of bounce around check on all the sites and then uh, you know tidy up anything if you need it anywhere so that, that's basically my role in storm removal um one thing that we have that very few of people have it's starting to get a little more common in the snow plowing industry is uh, full plows full plows are going actually on the back of the truck we, we use uh, short irons they're made in northern michigan the guys have been making them for about 20 years but they're just kind of starting to get to be you know, but more and more common dairy. Uh, guys are seeing uh, how much more productive they are. It's a plow, it's eight feet wide and has a four foot wing on each side, it goes in the back of the truck, so it's all the way open, it's 16 feet wide. It does have down pressure, so that's one really good thing about it, where most front plows don't have down pressure, just the way the plow, so you can't really get a really good scrape. If it's heavy snow at all, the plow will tend to just ride up because it's just the weight of the plow. For a pull plow, that's something that we have that a handful of other guys in, the, in, the, in Minnesota that have them. But we, we've got, we'll have three or four of them this year. Um, they, they have down pressure, so they can actually lift the back tires of the truck up because it, can, it pushes down so hard. So it gets a really good scrape. When you get heavy snow, front plows will tend to lift up or pull plows can just dig right through it and they can you know, get a really good job and have a lot less ice and slipperiness down the road. Um, so that's one thing we do. It takes a little more advanced operator. You really gotta, you really gotta use your mirrors because the wing, you know, the wing is all the way out, it's four feet out. So you can't really see it looking out. You gotta, and you don't want to looking back when you're going forward anyway. So you really gotta have your mirrors skilled operator but at the end of the day it does a better job and it's more faster and more efficient so that's one thing that we use quite a bit that not a lot of you guys in the industry have and then another thing we do is um, we try to have where for where our workflow is you know for the amount of counts we have you have enough manpower you always have some flexibility you know sometimes you know, we start in the middle of the night you know some people have a hard time getting up at night and not. so we always make sure that we have more than enough as much manpower as we need plus some so that we're never you know so most of our accounts have a deadline of 12 hours and we'll quit snowing and have it done in 12 hours. So we always make sure that we have more than enough manpower to get everything done within that time frame. So we usually have everything done within about seven or eight hours after it quits. All right, what is going on today? Today is Friday, January 17th. Rocking my new Vico hat, Bobcat Brainerd. Um, it is snowing, as you can see. It is uh, coming down really good we got about four inches already they're calling for eight to twelve so should be good we're gonna get uh, lots of lots of good footage from this event all right it's still coming down we're going to uh, go out there and uh, move some snow so I'll see you guys in a bit all right here is a here's a commercial account here's a commercial account that we do it's, it's uh, super cold and windy so I can get out of the window over here 
Here's a commercial count that we do. Um, this is another one where the pull plow will about cut your time in half, if not more. One and done, six, 16 feet at a time with a pickup truck and a good scrape. All right guys, in case you couldn't tell, it is uh, absolutely freezing out here. Probably about 10 below, windy, freezing, so I'm gonna jump in the truck and uh, I'll get a little more footage once we're uh, wrapping up here. See you guys shortly. Alright guys, so here is an account that uh, that we picked up about a year and a half ago, we moved in the middle of last year. It's a small homeowners association, it's all pavers. They don't want a metal edge here, they don't want a metal cutting edge. So with that being said, um, you can't do this with a regular, with a traditional traditional uh, metal blade like this on a front plow. It can't be done because then it scrapes the pavers, tips them up. So this is where, and this is, this is a small account, it's not big, so you don't want to bring a skid here just for this. So this is where with this plow you can completely eliminate a skid. So with the short iron, we completely eliminate a skid. It's a perfect fit for this account. We're able to take this on, do it efficiently, do it quickly. And uh, yeah, this thing is, uh, it's a game changer, most definitely. Hi, I'm Marlena Williams of GNM Outdoor Services. I'm the owner and office administrator. This video is all about snow plowing in this time of year, August. I'm already getting contracts prepped for the season, so we're sending out bids already for all types of accounts. We're about 80% full for the season, but we have a little bit more room. During the snow events, my key role is the dispatch, so I'm setting up all of our jobs and prepping the guys, making sure they have on the schedule of where they need to be and when. After the snowstorms, I'm doing all of our billing, whether it's per time, monthly. We're very flexible on our contracts and billing with customers. One thing we do differently is we use Jobber for our computer software to communicate with our clients. They can set a credit card up on file and we can process that immediately after, send them a receipt. It's no stress, they don't have to think about it. We service their property and they never have to contact us or think about it or try to pay a bill or anything. It is 80 and sunny in the middle of August right now, but the snow will be here before we know it. All right guys, thanks so much for sticking to the end of this video. Uh, if you have any plowing needs in the North Metro, there's a residential driveway, a commercial property, you know, a daycare, um, a, a townhome association, anything like that, feel free to give me a call anytime. We have a lot of our contracts signed, locked in already. We have a little bit more room left, so if you have anything in North Metro, feel free to give us a call. I'd be happy to do a variety of quote. Look, just a quick insight on our, on our contracts. We do some per time, some monthly contracts, some hourly. So we're really kind of willing to work with you on however you like the contract structure. So we're working on that. But thanks so much for sticking to the end of this video. Um, also, check us out on social media or on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, or all over. So feel free to check us out on there and thanks again for watching.